Hello friends. So here we have with another uh, question on combined signal operations. So this is the expression here yt is equal to minus x by 2 3t minus 2 and this is the signal. So here we have uh, picked a different combination of individual signal operations. So if you have noticed right from the start up to this point we are selecting different combinations of individual signal operations. So in some in the uh, first few questions we picked up simple expressions consisting of two or three uh, individual signal operations and then as we moved forward we slowly increased the number of uh, operations in a particular expression four five like that and also we are uh, changing uh, we are mixing in between different operations in some cases we are selecting time shifting time scaling amplitude scaling in some cases we are selecting time scaling amplitude scaling amplitude inversion in some cases uh, something different so like that we are doing different combinations so that you get used to all of the different ways in which a question can be formed okay a expression can be formed so this is another way to form a, a combined signal operation so here also as you can see we can uh, go about this combined signal operation as xt to xt minus 2 first that is time shifting then xt minus 2 to x 3t minus 2 time scaling then x 3t minus 2 to x by 2 3t minus 2 which is amplitude scaling and this is scaling down because 1 by 2 we are getting we're dividing the amplitude by or reducing the amplitude by a factor of 2 so it is scaling down amplitude scaling but scaling down and then x by 2 3t minus 2 to minus x by 2 3t minus 2 this is amplitude inversion so these are the steps that are involved in this combined signal operation. So first we'll do the time shifting, the first step. So x t minus 2 time shifting x t minus 2. Now you know whenever uh, we perform time shifting the sign and the numeric a value after that sign is very important here minus means the shifting will happen to the uh, sorry here it will uh, happen to the right sorry okay here the shifting will happen to the right minus means the shifting will happen to the right by two units if it would have been plus then it would have been to the left but here it is minus so the shifting will happen to the right so the time shifted signal it will look something like this and this is one here it is two then three here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it will start from here. Okay. So at 2 it will be 3, then be like this. Okay. Then it would be from here like this then this then this okay like this 
this will be the shifted signal. Next, after time shifting, we have time scaling. Okay, so here it is uh, at 3, this will happen just slightly before. Okay, so let us correct that. So, it will be like this here, like this, okay, this. So, now we will perform uh, time scaling. So, for time scaling, what we have to do is the factor which gets multiplied with t or divided by t, that plays an important role. So, x 3t minus 2, 3 is getting multiplied with t. So, it means the same will get divided by in the time axis. So, each of these points will get divided by 3, the starting and the ending points of this signal on the time axis. So, the time scaled signal, it will be like this. by 3, 2 by 3, this is 0, then 3 by 3 or 1, then 4 by 3, then 5 by 3. So, at 2 by 3, this will be 3, then like this, then this, then this, this, then this. Okay, this. This is the time scaled signal. So, all of these they are divided by the same factor which is multiplied with the coefficient of t here. So, this is the time scaled signal. Okay. Then we have after time scaling, we have amplitude scaling, scaling down by a factor 1 by 2. So, all of these amplitude points it will get divided by 2. Okay, so the resultant signal it will be something like this. This will be point five, this will be one, this will be one point five then 1 by 3, 2 by 3 and 1 and 4 by 3 then 5 by 3. So, here it will be same but half of that the original value then like this then like this then so, each of these points they are getting divided by 2 because the signal has to be scaled down by a factor 1 by 2. So, 1 it is becoming 0.5, 2 it is becoming 1, 3 it is becoming 1.5. So, this is the amplitude scaled signal that is x by 2, 3t minus 2. Then we have amplitude inversion. Okay? So, here will multiply each of these amplitude points by minus 1 which will give us the mirror image of this signal about the negative amplitude axis such as a mirror imagining as if a mirror is placed along the time axis. So, amplitude inversion amplitude inversion. So, here it would be like this this is time okay it is minus 0.5 minus 1 minus 1.5 0 1 by 3 2 by 3 1 4 by 3 5 by 3 
So, here it would be like this. This mirror image of the same signal about the negative amplitude axis and this everything else on the time axis will stay the same only the the amplitudes it will be the negative of the amplitude of the amplitude scaled signal. So, this is the final amplitude inverted signal. So, we had to pass through these four steps time shifting, time scaling, amplitude scaling and amplitude inversion to get the final signal. Okay.